Hey, we have another interesting guest with us. We have got Steve Ormandy from That's right. Dinosaur Designs. Dinosaur Designs. Your product is very, very uniquely Australian because we were having a conversation on the phone and I said to you that I first remember seeing your product in 1985 at a shop that I used to work at, Von Troska. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. You've got a very good memory. I Incredible. do too. Thank you. And what makes your product is that it's what makes it i think uh, products are uniquely australian on the international stage is their sense of color and fun what do you think well that's pretty much the way we work i think mm -hmm. we don't actively say oh we want to make this colorful and we want to make it fun it just happens that way it's what we're attracted to what can you tell us about this bowl that's from a range we've just produced based on mushrooms and fungi. Wow. So the shape is very organic and a lot of the colours um, are influenced by what you find in different fungi. Now, what are your products made of? It's made of resin. Yeah, is that petrol resin? Well, yeah, it's a okay. byproduct of the petrochemical industry, so okay. it's a good way to use up what's left over. And this has got a great feel about it. It's got a... It's got everything. a kind of like... It's got like a porcelain plastic feel about it to me. I don't know anything about this kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a cross between the two. You can yeah. hear the sound of it. It's, it's a high quality, so you can mm. machine work wow. and, so, and finish it. So, so how do you work with this? Like, is it like... There's a lot of sanding. I mean, yeah. the original casting, um, well, we could go back to the very beginning, yeah. and that is we mould by hand the original shape. Uh -huh. We then turn that into a mould that we can cast the colours into. And then we use a lot of casting techniques. You can see, you know, that's part of a, a range we call delicate. Mm. So in a sense, we wanted the casting to feel delicate. With jewelry, you've got bangles as well. I mean, these are incredibly colorful. That's right, and, and we're really interested. That, again, came from a range uh, which was based on birds. So in a sense, wow. the inspiration is a feather that's been wrapped around the wrist. So tell me, with this, I mean, on a, I'm kind of like a technical level, like is this cast or is this actually done by hand that's like been, clay? It was done once, originally yes. with, in, oh, in modelling clay, and yeah. then it then it's is cast. cast. That's wow, right. that's amazing. But the nature of the casting, it makes it completely individual every piece. So there's no way you can reproduce that another time. So it's mm. like a, a painting oh, in I a see, sense. because of the way of the, the different coloured resins. Yeah, and the spontaneity right. of the way yeah. we work in terms of our casting. That's, really a, that's a resin bangle that we've chromed. Wow. Like uh, the old bumper bars or wow. exhaust pipes on motorbikes. We've got our own stores in Australia. We've got mm -hmm. uh, one in Paddington, one in the Strand Arcade in Sydney, yeah. Chapel Street in Melbourne, and we've opened eight years ago now in New York. New York, how's that? It's good. It's, yeah, it's been yeah. a wonderful experience for us. That is a stand for hanging necklaces. That is so much fun. I like it. It's almost like a tree. That's the inspiration. That's where it came from. A lot of, a lot of our pieces over the years have been functionally based. We've always yeah. used a bowl or a platter. And um, we've started working purely with sculpture in terms of it's an ornament, which is something we really didn't do much of. How do Americans and people internationally perceive your product? Oh, very well. I mean, we knew that before we even went to New York and opened our store because we had a lot of interaction with American tourists and travellers and business people mm. coming to us in Obviously, Australia. Yeah, because your shops are in... That's your, right. Um, and we had been selling wholesale mm. into New York different stores mm. as well. So we knew that there was a definite market for us to go to America. That's again a piece from our bird range, so of course yeah. inspired by um, plumage and display, which is a great parallel between um, jewellery and jewellery wearing and birds. Wow, because it reminds of, me of a lyre bird, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right, or a peacock, that feeling of... of wow. um, and, and so yeah. all your products are made in Australia? That's right, we make them that all in gross. sunny red fern. Th this is quite interesting because it looks like it looks like these black feathers in a way, doesn't it? That's or leaves, right, are they another, leaves or feathers? It's yeah. based on um, feathers again, a piece from our bird range. Wow. 
That was the catalogue for um, a show that was uh, a survey of our work at, at Object okay. that toured nationally and internationally. So uh, the partnership is you and two girls? That's right. I, I love that. They look like big, huge stones. Like They're big, based huge... on river pebbles. Yeah, That's exactly. Right. Yeah, big river pebbles. That's one of our signature pieces, um, okay. the river, river now, rocks. Now, what sort of statement does a woman make when she wears these amazing necklaces? Because it's almost like they're saying, look, hey, I love art. Here I am. I think so. And uh, sometimes I've been, I've been told that people put on our um, necklaces and it defines who they are or how they're feeling that day, they which I think it. is wonderful. Why do women have this amazing fascination with bangles? And I, I, is that what we call them, bangles? Yeah, they do. Yeah. And, um, because this, to me, looks almost African. Well, they look fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah they do. They that's do, why I think that it's simple... That looks like coral, doesn't it? it? That's right. So it's still resin, yeah. but working. We often um, actually cast real objects. Oh, and these are vases. That's right. So you can see the functionality. They're all very usable. But it's taking a sense of design through um, the everyday bowls and objects that we use. It adds another dimension when you make it look attractive and you make mm. it look interesting. Now, what I like about this is that it's symmetrical, but it's not even. That's right. Well, yeah. every bead's individual. That's what we yeah, really work on, right. individuality. And, and, and it's got a great feel because it's light, it's durable, and yet it's, it's lighter than what it looks. That's, that's right. That's actually a reissue of a bead we did virtually in the beginning of the company. Mm -hmm. And we thought what's called the off-cut off-cut diamond and we thought we'd bring that back. So a lot of what you do, it's kind of, it's got this toy feel, like it's almost like they're lollies or something. You yeah, know, a lot quite... of people feel that, that it, it is a lolly experience and I think that's quite exciting and it it's, shows that people are really feeling the excitement of the colour and shape. I think people, are, you know, like ourselves, are just saying, well, look, no, you can do it here yeah. and you can do it successfully. And there's more integrity involved, isn't there? I think so. And yeah. um, you can keep, for us, it, we can keep very close to the product, to every mm. piece that's made. Um, and mm. we can be very versatile mm. and we can produce smaller runs. We can be. Oh, with short notice. Yeah, uh, you yeah. know, we can be more plastic mm. in a way. We can and be more then malleable. Also, also um, there's good karma knowing uh, that people overseas haven't been exploited because, you know, there's a lot of things that are made in the third world and in mm. Asia where, where you don't know what terms and conditions people have worked under. And I think it's important yeah. that people pay attention to when they're buying product, whether it is, you know, affecting in a good way or a bad way. Yeah, the environment. Both the environment, Absolutely. human beings. I think it, you've got to look at everything in a holistic way and that's mm. somehow we can start to deal with the problems that we have. I know you brought it in to display things on, but this is one of your pieces. That's right. It's a display bust for this uh, retail store. Now, but there's something so beautiful and it's almost, it's almost like it's a heart with a neck sticking out. That's right. Kind of well, it's got a sense of love about it. In a sense, it's a very high-tech material, mm. but we work in a primitive way in the sense that we hand sculpt everything that we do. So it's artisan. It's exactly right. So it's almost like mm. the village has discovered an amazing new material. Mm. All right, and we have kind of like rediscovered or refocused on, on something brilliant that, that's been around for a quarter of a century. A quarter of a century. Isn't it incredible? Like that, it's frightening. And hopefully another 25 years. Hopefully, and uh, longer. Absolutely. Okay, Steve Ormandy from Dinosaur Designs. Thank you very much for coming in. We'll see you soon. Thank you for having me here. Thanks. Bye for now.